the message. Hebrews chapter 1, verses 1 and 2. God, who at various times and in various ways spoke in the past to the fathers by the prophets, has in these last days spoken to us by his Son, whom he has appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the world. John chapter 3 verses 16 through 18. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believes on him is not condemned, but he that does not believe on him is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Romans chapter 5, verses 18 and 19. By the offense of one, condemnation came to all. Even so, by the righteousness of the Holy One, the free gift of life came upon all. For as by the disobedience of one, many were made sinners, so by the obedience of the one shall many be made righteous. Romans chapter 5, verses 20 and 21. The law entered that the offense might abound. But where sin abounded, grace did much more abound, that as sin reigns unto death, even so might grace reign through righteousness unto eternal life by Jesus Christ our Lord. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 4 through 7. God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, has quickened us together with Christ. By grace you are saved, and has raised us up together, and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 through 10. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God has before ordained that we should walk in them. Romans chapter 8, verses 18 through 21. For I believe that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. For all creation waits in earnest expectation for the manifestation of the sons of God. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who has subjected it in hope. Because all creation itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. Romans chapter 8, verse 28. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. Romans chapter 8, verse 29. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestine to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestine, them he also called. And whom he called, them 
he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. Romans chapter 8, verses 31 through 34. If God be for us, who can be against us? He that did not spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifies. Who is he that condemns? It is Christ that died, rather, that is risen again, who is at the right hand of God, interceding for us.